Welcome, friends, to worship this morning. If you have your sheep, you can take it and place it in your sheepfold because the Good Shepherd welcomes each of us this morning. And we have a new greeting, if you remember from last week, because we are still in the Easter season. So we are going to say he is risen, he is risen indeed, and there are some motions you can do. You can say he is risen, and he is risen indeed. So that's how we will greet each other this morning, in the name of the risen Christ, because we are celebrating this Easter season. So last week was the day of Easter, and this week I'm going to move us one more forward to celebrate our second Sunday of Easter. And we get to continue to celebrate Easter for six weeks. So if you have your Easter tents at home, you can keep those up for another five more weeks. Well, if you'd like to sing some songs now, you can. And we, I'm going to sing uh, Be Still and Know, because that helps me and all of us to get ready to hear a very special story. Another Easter story we get to hear this week. So if you would sing with me, I would love that. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we hear those words and we sing those words, that helps us to get ready to hear a song or a story from God's Word. So I'm going to get my screen ready and you can get your body your mind and your heart ready to hear a story. Well, Jesus died, but God made him alive again. Some of Jesus' friends saw the angel. Others ran to see the empty tomb. Jesus called one of them by name. She knew the sound of his voice, and she saw him. Many of Jesus' friends wondered what had really happened. Two of Jesus' friends walked and talked with a stranger on the road to Emmaus. They did not know who the stranger was until he took bread, blessed it, and offered it to them. Then they knew it was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Jesus' friends hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the others. night, ten of Jesus' friends and other followers met together. The doors were tightly shut. Suddenly,
suddenly Jesus appeared before them. He said to them, Peace be with you. Some of the people were frightened when they saw this stranger. Some even thought he must be a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you afraid? I am alive, just as I promised. See the wounds in my hands, hands and feet? Here, touch me. A ghost doesn't have flesh and bones. Have you anything to eat? They brought him grilled fish and honey, and the stranger ate. Now the friends of Jesus and the other followers knew this really was Jesus. Jesus was alive. I wonder how the disciples felt when the stranger appeared. I wonder how Jesus got into the room without going through the door. I wonder how they felt when they saw and touched Jesus' hands and feet, the wounds. I wonder if they said anything to Jesus. I wonder what you might say to Jesus if you were one of them. There's so many things to wonder about during this mysterious Easter season. I wonder if you could go and tell some of this story to somebody else or draw it, or maybe act it out, or respond in some way to this Easter story. I'm going to light our candle for us. This is our Christ candle, and it reminds us that Jesus has come. Jesus is alive. He's risen from the dead. He is with us. And with that comes a great, great peace. Knowing that even as I change this light, and we see this smoke rise, it spreads and it settles around us, all around us in the room, as the Holy Spirit does. And so we pass the peace of Christ to one another by saying, Peace of Christ be with you. So peace be with you and your family until I see you again.